Travel to planets with unique forms of life brought an awareness that Earth's uniquely, uh, unique biodiversity could be lost if spliced and hybridized to gain useful alien qualities. The Sudham-Walcott Genetic Heritage Act was passed by the Systems Alliance Parliament in 2061. It imposed sharp restrictions on controversial uses of genetic engineering, but provided government subsidies for beneficial applications. Screening and therapy. Most governments provide free assessments and corrective therapy for genetic diseases in prospective parents. This has nearly eliminated everything from cystic fibrosis to nearsightedness. The earlier screening and therapy is performed, the more comprehensive the results. Though ideally performed on artificially fertilized zygotes in a lab, procedures are available for embryos in the womb and newborns, out of respect for personal beliefs. Enhancement Improvement of natural human abilities is legal, but adding new abilities is not. Treatments to improve strengths, uh, strength, reflexes, mental acuity, or appearance are permitted. Adding a tail or the ability to digest cellulose is not. Some genetic enhancement is provided for free to Alliance military recruits, but the average citizen must pay for the privilege. The process can take years to reach fruition in an adult. Engineering. Artificial hybridization of genes from compatible non-human species with human genetic code is illegal. Creation of designed life is broadly legal and mainly used for terraforming and medical applications, but sentient creatures are heavily regulated and creation uh, creation of sapient life is outlawed by both the Systems Alliance and the Citadel Council. That's why people don't like the Gath and Tally's people. I'm sorry. Shit happens. All right, well, I will uh, continue looking around, and um, since we have these Citadel rapid transit things, there's not going to be many elevators. Are you gonna talk to me? No, okay. So uh, probably won't be recording very many elevators as we go through, and I'll just appear in different locations as I'm searching around. So we'll be right back. Area lately. Did he say why? No. He kind of skirted the issue. It's those damn humans, if you ask me. They're not all bad. They're just different, mostly. I don't like them. They all act like they've been living here forever. The Citadel is ours. Just figured I would uh, catch that since they were having a random talk. And Flux isn't particularly huge, so... I may just uh, go around it on camera real quick, just to see if I can find anything. Doran! Hey Doran, I can dance with you! Best dance ever. Alright, anyway, um... I almost forgot, we technically leveled up at some point, so uh, let's get our nice new skill here. And then we can pop Unity into uh, one of our uh, hotkeys. Let's see here. Uh, what is this one? This is the Adrenaline Burst that recharges all the talents. I'm definitely not going to have that up here. I'll just have that as something that I can hit down here when I need it. Warp is fine to have. Um, let's see, what is this? Damages shields within a certain radius. That's kind of cool to have. You know, technically, I guess Unity isn't one that I would want to have either. Nor would Shield Boost. Yeah, these are things that I would just want to use at random. These things are something that I would want to use in the midst of battle, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm all good, actually. Just leave it as is. All right, anyway, um, is there anything else going on here? I guess I could talk to you two. Hey there, welcome 
You don't care. Some Quasar. And none of you look uh, of any interest. Whatsoever. Hey, Rita. Commander, thanks again for all your help. And you don't care. All right, well, off we go again. So there's this guy standing outside of, uh, of Cora's den over here. So I don't know what's going on with him. Let's go ahead and talk to him. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. I'm sorry, you are? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. I'm not ashamed. My history's a matter of public record. I got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old times' sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Mm hmm. What's the reason for the arrest? What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. So, not a jailbreak? You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. And in Turian space? What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. Uh, sure, no problem. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Got something new in our codex with the Humanity and Systems Alliance. Let's the see. The whole world and capital of humanity is entering a new golden age. The resource wealth of a dozen settled colonies and a hundred industrial outposts flows back to Earth, fueling great works of industry, commerce, and art. The great cities are greening, as arcology skyscrapers and telecommuting allow more efficient use of land. Earth is still divided among nation-states, though all are affiliated beneath the overarching banner of the Systems Alliance. While every human enjoys a longer and better life than ever, the gap between rich and poor widens daily. Advanced nations have eliminated most genetic disease and pollution. Less fortunate regions have not progressed beyond 20th century technology and are often smog-choked, overpopulated slums. Sea levels have risen two meters in the last 200 years, and violent weather is common due to environmental damage inflicted during the late 21st century. The past few decades, however, have seen significant improvement due to recent technological advances. All right. Anything else? I think that about does it here. So, if we can do this with a uh, non-violent approach, then I suppose we'll go ahead and do it. But... If this turns out to be uh, something that's going to cause trouble, I'll probably back off. Sounds like Garrus uh, has something to say. There's very little serious crime in this arm of the wards. Maybe because the CSEC Academy is so close by. I see. What's up, Tally? A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, <laughs> but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. All right, so we've got someone to talk to. Ah, it's the Turian guard right here. What's up, buddy? Can I help you? So we can say we've got a warning, or we can uh, ask him to cut Kurt Weissman loose. Um, hmm, I feel like if we've got a warning, we would cause issues. 
<laughs> How about you cut Kurt Wiseman loose, though? You've got a prisoner named Kurt Wiseman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. Well, I need your, uh, wait a minute. Let's investigate. Why is he a xenophobe? Why are you calling him a xenophobe? The human acknowledges affiliation with several anti-alien organizations. His crime specifically targeted Turians as a species. It was a hate crime and will be treated as such at his sentencing. Mm hmm Tell me about Wiseman's sentence. What sentence is Wiseman likely to receive? Considering that he attempted to commit a xenophobic hate crime, I would expect him to receive a lifetime imprisonment. All right. Tell me exactly what Wiseman's crime was. What crime did Wiseman commit? He attempted to poison medical cargo being sent to a Turian colony to treat an outbreak of a dangerous disease. If he'd succeeded, millions would have died. This human is a dangerous xenophobe. Yeah, this changes things. <laughs> Thanks for the information. One of Wiseman's friends was less than honest with me. I understand. Weissman was too well supplied to be acting alone. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard on his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. Let's investigate. Well, my uh, bio is kind of known already. My bio is public record. Everyone knows I ran with gangs as a kid. They don't know that the Reds target aliens specifically. We've got the backers to handle off-world missions. Your alien friends won't like you so much when they hear what your gang did. What's your needs, Finch? What do you want, Finch? What gets you out of my life? What do I want? I want aliens off of Earth. I want the council to stay out of humanity's business. Gang, not Earth first? I don't even know what this means, but okay, let's find out. The 10th Street Reds was a gang, not an Earth first movement. Ah. They're a human movement now. You think the vids will make that distinction? I can find a dozen Reds who'll swear they saw you kill aliens for fun. Who's going to believe you then? Yeah, this won't help you. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. The specter is right. This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. You're wrong. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. No, no, I shouldn't have. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Spectre you turn out to be. The best one you'll ever know. All right. Apparently we got advanced shield boost with Tally. I don't know why we went to Tally there, but cool. I forget uh, if there's a way to force it to let you level them up yourself at this point, but it doesn't seem like it's doing that. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, uh, we are still quite a bit off from where we want to be to get our next level, but we've got our Spectre training, so I think shotguns to the max is going to be next. Anyway, let's see. Patron, patron, pa Harkin. Hey there. Go away. Let me, let me drink your piece. No, he's just from earlier. Unfortunately, that's nothing of interest. And it looks like we probably, oh, no, we can get back here. I don't think there's going to be anything new since this was from a, uh, a previous uh, mission that we went on, but, you know, 
It's worth looking back here. This place is still a mess. Who the hell runs this place now? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we will be right back and uh, we'll check out the next area. Hey, Conrad Werner. Remember me? He's back. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Yeah, I'll do my best. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? Uh, I suppose? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I mean, with me with my gun up like that, he could spin that any way that he wants and say that I'm pointing it at someone else. By the way, I wonder if there's anything back, here. Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. There may very well be something uh, worth buying here. So I could get some medium armor. It's actually pretty good armor, too. I suppose, in a way, mine's better because of the biotic protection. Because overall, that would be a 32 there. Well, I guess it's lesser in some ways, too. I don't know. I don't want to spend that much money on it, though. Let's see. What else we got here? We got shotguns. Omni-tool. It's a 15 shield bonus, tech cooldown bonus, and no med recharge bonus. It's okay. Don't think that I would really want to switch it out for anything that Tally or Garrus has. So I'll leave it. Uh, what about this? That's a pretty good shotgun. Mine's better. Tally's is not, but I don't think I really care. Is there another shotgun? Yeah, there's a Scimitar 5 in here. Which is uh, also better than Tally's. Firestorm, though, seems to be like a uh, better group. So, uh, if I find some firestorms in the future, I should definitely grab them. Eh. I might want to buy some Metagel. That seems like that's worthwhile. Might as well have the upgrade there. That's only, like, one of the, uh, the more expensive weapons. This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. And we've seen that. Wait. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. Wow. But I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. <laughs> that was a continuation of that. Nice. I didn't even realize that that ever continued there. Anyway, I will uh, continue looking around and see what I can find. Can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I came over here to see if there was anything worth purchasing, and then suddenly got that happening. You, uh, need some help? Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. So, with this uh, happening here, I almost think I should go back to all of the people that I was just going to skip out on and not say anything to. Because uh, I looked at them and then just walked away, basically.